Hello YouTube! Welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. It is Tuesday and I am Banded Wendy, your Tuesday vlogger. Great topic this year as we start off the new year, uh, thin in 2010. Uh, the topic is for pre-op patients. If you've chosen weight loss surgery, are you pre-op? You should be watching this. Um, I am a lap band patient 42 weeks out and I've lost 63 pounds. My personal goal is to lose 99 pounds. So I've got 36 pounds to go and then the journey continues. Um, so I've made a list of things I want to share with you. I want to say that you have made the best decision of your life uh, and you should be celebrating this fact, um, jumping up for joy. You should create a photo album of your before photos and include any photos of yourself that you like at any weight. I recommend that you have this on hand while you're at home recovering and flipping through that to remember who you were and to visualize where you want to go. Absolutely read and research all of the documents and all the paperwork and all the literature that your doctor gives to you. Go to lapbandtalk.com if you're getting lapband. Go to lapband.com. Obesityhealth.com uh, also. Uh, Google. Learn about pre-op as much as you can what goes on and also the immediate post-op. Focus on pre-op and one month post-op as you get started. Fall in love with your doctor. Your doctor needs to be your friend and confidant. You need to be able to share with them anything and everything and not to hesitate to contact them at any moment. If you ever feel something that is not normal and you're not sure what it is, call them. Take immediate action. Do not wait. Follow all guidelines provided by your doctor. They are there for a reason. You are not here to make up your own rules. That will not work. Your doctor's rules are the ones to follow. Do not stray from them. Set at least one major goal for yourself to accomplish in the next 52 weeks or that first year. Uh, oftentimes we become overwhelmed when we start setting goals. Just pick one. More will develop as the year goes on, but having one, um, maybe it's the amount of weight that you want to lose in the first 52 weeks, but pick one major goal to accomplish. Create, your immediate, create an immediate support network and educate them, whether it be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, your siblings, your children, your parents, your friends, your co-workers, Whomever it is that is going to be your immediate caregiver post-op, they need to know as much about the surgery as you do. And if you're choosing someone who doesn't want to know as much as you do, then they're not the right caregiver. Very, very important to have that support and someone who is at least hip to what you're going through and can understand it in some way, shape, or form. Educate them. Do not hide the information. Share it with them. Be prepared to rest, recover, and learn your new body. This is not a race. Do not rush. You will need time to understand what's going on in your side, your body, and to recover from surgery. You are having surgery. Learn your new body. What it feels like to take a drink. What it feels like to actually swallow food. What it's like to go to the bathroom. Hunger. Is it a physical hunger or a mental hunger? Learn to determine between the two. Tell the difference. F instead of fueling hunger, you want to learn how to feed hunger. Very big thing there. Plan, 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 plan. Be prepared. When you're prepared, you'll be more successful. Have foods on hand. There's multiple stages. I believe four phases of eating or four stages of eating post-op. Follow them to the T. Buy the products on the list. Have them on hand. So as you progress through those stages, when you get hungry, you have a go-to plan that is only a footstep away. Women, buy a sports bra. Trust me, the underwire, the bra, where the port is, how the surgery, the stomach, the sports bra will be your best friend for the first two to three weeks of sur after surgery for support. Get yourself a sports bra. Request, I learned this from a fellow lap bander prior to surgery, make the request, do not hesitate to ask your doctor after surgery, well, when they do surgery, they use oxygen uh, 
to inflate your stomach so they can easily see inside and do the surgery. That's, that oxygen or that air actually causes you to have gas and can cause pain in your shoulders and or your back. It varies for people. You need to ask your doctor, and it's not saying that they're clueless, but make sure you ask, that they push down on your stomach after surgery to help release that gas. Very, very important, and that will reduce your pain after surgery. Commit to walking around your house, inside your house, around your living room, up and down your stairs, around your basement, in your backyard, for at least one to five minutes, as much as you can do, every hour post-op when you get home. Walking around releases the gas in your body, and the sooner you get the gas out, the better the pain or the less pain you will have. P.M.A. Huey Long, a man that I met this week, put these three letters in my uh, brain, but it's, it's the truth. P.M.A. Positive Mental Attitude. This is a process. This is a journey. It is not a destination. It is a long one. It is not easy. We are changing our lives. And the best way to do that is to always maintain a positive mental attitude. And a lot of times when we're fat, we're not positive. So always work on having a positive mental attitude and it will be easier. And every day you have to re-energize yourself to have that positive mental attitude. Get your vitamins and your fiber and your pain meds. Get them in advance. Don't wait until after surgery. You need to start taking them immediately post-op. They need to be liquid and or they need to be chewable. You cannot take your old Centrum vitamins that are hard and solid that you've been taking in the past. Bariatric Advantage, great chewable vitamin. Um, uh, Vita gummies from Target, great fiber, chewable fiber. My personal opinion at 42 weeks post-op with the lap band, success, I'm working on success and so far my success that I have had is I believe because the band is 40 to 45 percent of that success. The band does not do all the work. It is not a miracle surgery. It is only a tool. The next 25 to 30 percent is your food choices. We're not eating pizza. We're not eating cheeseburgers. We're not eating nachos. We're not going through the drive through We're not eating milkshakes. We're not eating ice cream. We're eating lean proteins. We're eating fruits. We're eating vegetables. Protein first. Um, you're changing the way you live. And food choices are very important in this journey. Exercise. 25 to 30 percent of success is about exercise. We were fat. We weren't exercising. You're going to have to find some type of exercise that works for you. The rule post-op is 30 minutes a day. Now you might have to wait a few weeks before your doctor clears you but figure it out. Find out what's going to work for you because if you do not exercise your weight will stall. And when your weight stalls you're going to have to ask yourself why. And I guarantee you it's going to be about food choices and exercise. For me personally it was overwhelming to try to focus on every single piece of this journey at one time. I chose to break them up. I focused on food and eating and recovery first. Not overeating, eating the right foods, taking time to rest, getting enough sleep. Those things are really important and once you get a hold on those then you can jump into the exercise because exercise is going to be a commitment. It's going to be just as much as a commitment as the food and the rest and the recovery are going to be. Mental strength. This is not easy. We have someone talking to us every moment of the day. You have to learn how to control your, the mental beast inside you. It is hard. You will cry. There are journeys. You will lose friends. You will gain new ones. You have to be willing to be adventurous. Mental strength and uh, be committed, be dedicated, and make yourself the number one priority. A lot of times when we're fat, we weren't number one. At this point, you've chosen to have weight loss surgery, you have to be number one. Banded Wendy, check out my channel, A to Z, from week one to week 42, I'm there. Leave us a comment here, send us a message, anything I can do to help you, I will. I wish you all much success and good luck. Thanks for watching. We have a different vlogger seven days a week. Take care. Bye.